Rebel Nation, welcome to another episode of Crypto. It's Friday. Initially, I wanted to cover a project in the Cosmos ecosystem, Neutron, which I plan on doing it sometimes this weekend. So if you're interested, stay tuned. In this episode, I just want to go over the market real quick. And I want to go over these three articles. That's it. All right. And just give you my two cents. And that's about it. Okay. So before I do that, I actually want to see real quick what's happening in the crypto space, the price action. All right. So this is the, the trading chart. Some of the tokens I've added to my list. BAB. This is weird. It was sitting at some micro or some, something. It's sitting at a 4X right now, if you pay attention, from 7th Feb, not too long ago. Then we have FTM, VRA. Some of the tokens be performing decent. However, if you look at Bitcoin, right? Insanity. It's just ripping. It's ripping. It's sitting at 26,774. Close to 27,000, almost. And obviously, some of the tokens are also up, right? However, if you pay attention, if you look at the Cosmos, something is not right. Even though Bitcoin is up, some of the tokens here is down. Of course, this gives you a quick overview, a bird's eye view, basically, right? So now, cutting to the chase, I um, don't want to discuss much prices right now, all right? Just want to see what's happening. Why is Bitcoin up? So former NY regulator, crypto isn't the reason why Signature Bank was closed. New York state regulators did not shut down Signature Bank because of the firm's crypto clients. The decision was based upon whatever the data was with respect to the withdrawals by customers. On Sunday, New York-based Signature Bank closed its doors following action by state regulators in what appeared to be a preventative, preventive measure to reduce further contagion following the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, SVP. She said Signature Bank may also have suffered the consequences of contagion risks that were ongoing following the closure of SVP just days earlier. Nonetheless, the timing by regulators is significant, Will said. By quickly dealing with SVP and Signature Bank, bank regulators were able to send a strong message to the public that the system is okay and that, they, that we are going to take care of depositors. The latter was important, Will said, because it gave depositors a reason to not pull out their money from other banks. Yeah, if that happened, that would have been... Imagine what... <sighs> One bank run, what happens if tens of banks have the same situation, were in the same situation? What, global collapse, like the end of the world? That's, that's crazy. That's insane. On the other side, Bitcoin is a clear winner of the U.S. banking crisis. This is an opinion posted by George, one of the journalists. The narratives are on bank failures. Let's read this real quick. And I mentioned this. Bitcoin wasn't, obviously not, right? On one hand, the bank failures. It's not Bitcoin's fault. What did Bitcoin do? People, the VCs, they decided to take out the money and dump it on Bitcoin. And that's exactly what happened, right? And Bitcoin is pretty strong right now. And if I had another hand, the U.S. Federal Reserve, it looks like we might have a suspension of interest rate hikes from the U.S. Federal Reserve, which would give the entire market a well-needed breather. Especially, especially as some, myself included, view the failure of these banks as being closely tied to the raising of rates by a multiple of almost 20 over the last year. I keep saying Bitcoin, but I don't mean crypto. No, I don't mean crypto. I mean Bitcoin. Yeah, Bitcoin and crypto, I think they're different. Bitcoin is Bitcoin and crypto is pretty much everything else beside Bitcoin, literally, which includes Ponzi's and NFTs and all garbage, chills. I made all the market turbulence. Bitcoin's price is going up faster than even the much smaller and often more, more volatile altcoins. That's true. If you look at it, it's true. More people have, I mean, people believe in Bitcoin more, a lot more compared to any other stuff. I mean, that's, Bitcoin is a king, ultimately. All right. I mean, probably the safest in crypto. Crypto is unsafe. <laughs> right? Extremely volatile and risky, but Bitcoin seems the safest bet for any traditional people. If you go and ask anybody, right? Hey man, do you know what's XPR, VR, and, you know, Bitcoin? Yeah, we know Bitcoin and Ethereum for sure, right? So that's there, all right? This is what I wanted to put out there. And lastly, Coinbase is weighing. This is the disappointing one, the disturbing part, because being in the United States, this is not cool. Coinbase is weighing, setting up a non-US trading platform, all right? The search comes as the US accelerates actions, against the crypto sector in the wake of FTX collapse and the shutdown of three crypto-friendly banks. US-based crypto exchange Coinbase is considering setting up a crypto trading platform overseas and is discussing the move with institutional clients, citing people familiar with the plans. A decision hasn't been taken on the location for such a trading platform, which comes as a US regulators are cracking down on crypto. Regulatory action against the sector intensified after November's collapse of crypto exchange FTX, the recent shutdown of Silvergate. Bank, Signature Bank, and Silicon Valley. All S SSS. What, what is going on? Samp, Bankman, Silver Bank, Signature Bank, and Silicon Valley Bank, which were all in some way tied to crypto, alerted lawmakers even more. Coinbase isn't alone. Several U other U.S. crypto firms are looking to find new banking partners in other jurisdictions. Signum in Switzerland and Bank Freak in uh, Listen told Coinbase, uh, Coindesk they have received an increasing number of requests to open accounts from offshore companies, including those based in the U.S. So ladies and gents, that's all I have for you. This is a little concerning. I did a video where I said, is U.S. really trying to kill crypto? 
because it doesn't make any sense. Some of you might say, oh, you know, U.S. don't matter. And I said this again and again. Imagine if U.S. disappeared from the economy. All of a sudden, wouldn't it affect the world? Oh, no, there's China and India, of course. I'm not going to go in the future and say, oh, China could be a dominant figure, probably based on what, what's happening, right? U.S. is here, all right? And it's a big deal. And being in the U.S., being an immigrant, when I see these things happen, it's not like I'm not looking at myself thinking, oh, you know what? Why are they trying um, to help? Why are they trying to put barriers and create obstacles for people like us to make money? Or are they trying to help us or protect us? Because I said this all, all the time that bad regulation basically is worse than no regulation at all. I would be able to figure this whole system out, define all the stuff out, believe it or not. But if bad regulations ruins us a space, then... It's, you know, it, a lot of people will lose faith, you know, hope. And I mean, you know, countless dreams will be shattered. So U.S., man, and it's, it's a big deal. Whether you like politics or not, it's a big deal. 2024, it's a huge deal. I did a video several, several months back when we talked about the 2025 global crisis, recession, all this stuff. And um, yeah, we don't know how far, you know, it'll go and play that way. But it's, it's happening. You can see what's, you know, the craziness. Um, another conspiracy, which I want to end this video with, um, the YouTube CEO stepped down. The Twitch CEO stepped down. What's the deal? Why are the CEOs of big companies stepping down all of a sudden? Something is fishy. <laughs> is, are we, on the beginning, are we um, expecting a crazy recession or whatever? Anyways, I just wanted to put this out there, right? So I just want to come um, once in a while, drop, you know, give you my two cents, discuss what's happening in the crypto space. Also discuss Cosmos ecosystem and several other tokens which you can see on this list right we'll talk about them down the road all right so anyways policymakers out there right do the right thing for crypto all right i mean what what is it is this what you want your kids your grandkids and all those people to see because what goes around comes around man so do it do the right thing all right i'm out